on the agenda. Just use those changes to the agenda. Okay, can we just do a round of who everybody is? Because Mark doesn't really know everybody yet. Oh, okay. Sure. Hi, Mark. I'm Denise Freeland. Glad to meet you, Denise. Nice to meet you, sir. Well, I'm Mark. Since I'm the new one, I'm Mark Mahoney. John Jewett. Amy Willis. Bruce Johnson, but you can tell because we, yeah, for the yeah, first yeah, time yeah, ever, yeah. we have yeah. two cars. I have on both sides, so I know who I am. So I know who I am. All of us are like 18 now, we have to remind ourselves. Oh. <laughs> uh, so. I'm, I'm Sharon Wynn. I'm, on, I'm a member of the Callis Squad Board. And you guys are members of the yeah. board? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, John. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. yeah, they get the name tags when they come up. Okay. And our other, there's Rick, you want to say yeah, I'm, I'm Rick Keen, tell us what to And John's on the team. John Brabant. <laughs> hey, John. Oh, Hi, John Brabant. Uh, Judith Dillon, I'm here. I'm a member of the East Montpelier Select Board. Hi. Carl and I are East Montpelier Select Board. There we go. Okay. I'm Seth Gardner, East Montpelier. There we go. Yeah, okay, right. Yeah. And we see you too, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> did, uh, did you call the meeting in order? Yep. Oh, okay. We're good to go then. So our meeting's in going. You, you're already, you're already in process. You, you asked about executive session. I did. Yeah. We, we have not had, we, ha we have in, in, yes. And publicly, we have you yeah. know, made the, the community aware. Yeah. That we have opened the contract for a negotiation, but we have so far dealt with the issues in executive session. Oh, you have? Right. Yes, because it's a contract. So, and okay. so from our perspective, I think. See, we have not come in executive session. So, I guess from Callis's perspective, we would like to continue to do this in executive session. All right. So that means that requires a motion. If you guys are okay with that, then we each have to make a motion to uh, convene an executive session under BS, what is it? 313 A, the subdivision for concession negotiations. Is yeah, that right. a motion, Sharon? That is a motion. Okay, I will second it. Okay. So, Callis board, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. John? Aye. Aye. Now, do we want to, Callis, do we want to invite our recording secretary in to take notes? I don't know. You'll take notes of the executive session. You can. Watch well, you, we can take we can take our own notes because we're going to land somewhere and we'll have our notes. We'll have because them. Bruce is probably going to write it in. So. You, don't, you don't take minutes in executive session. You can take notes, and the notes are not public. Right, right. So we can take notes. Right, we can take notes and, and then and that way we can let Katie. And don't we turn the recording off? Well, I don't think Katie minds. Um, if you would prefer to have it, have her here to take the notes, Denise, that's fine. Yeah, I think, yeah, we, I think it, it just makes it easier for us to have Katie take the notes. So I would invite our recording secretary in to take notes, not minutes. Okay, so we, we have to make the motion ourselves to go on our end invite Bruce. It's a double motion, too, please. Double. Okay, we need a double motion. I'll make the first part of the motion the finding. Okay. Yep. You did, you're doing that, Carl? I did, yes. And the second part is to go in. So office. somebody needs to second the finding motion that we okay. need to go in. Okay. Then we vote on that. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes have it. And the second is to actually go in the executive Right. So I'll make that motion too. Carl, hang on for one sec. Uh, Ty is here. Mm -hmm. exactly. Are you going to be willing to invite him in? I don't know. It's up to you, actually. Because we haven't even gone any executive session ever. Uh, so that would be the whole point. Of that would be yeah. the whole point of being an executive session. Yeah, because the contract negotiation is three people. Three and two. Uh, well, right. we're, but right. So if it's only. Two of us were not in this, we're not negotiating, we're discussing. Right. Seth and Denise, I'm going to take off. Okay. Right. I made, I made my comments earlier on the topic. Yeah. So, yeah. But, the, 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 but the finding, the finding piece of the East Montpelier motion, motion 
if I'm under, if I'm understanding by extension what you're finding, you're finding that the, that the contractual negotiations would be compromised if you have the discussion in public. Am I right about that, Bruce? You're right, but that's what the finding is. But what right. what you're trying to decide now is whether to invite Ty in. Yeah. And if you choose not to invite Ty in, I would ask that you let Ty talk first right. before you go before into executive on. session. Yes, I, I would say I don't see any reason to go into executive session if if Ty is going to be here. I don't see why we should include exclude the rest of the public. Right. Agreed. I, I agree. I agree. So that's why I never wanted to go into executive session and discuss this anyway. Right. So, so, my under, so my understanding is we're going to let Ty speak, then the boards are going to go into executive session. If that's what you desire. I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just, why? I, I guess I was. Um, uncertain as to the purpose of this. I thought Ty was going to be part of our conversation and not just, um, you know, speak and then leave. If we're talking about the document itself. Um, so That's what I'm doing with this, is like, Ty is here, we can all discuss it. We do not have to go in the next session. The two boards haven't had a chance to talk about this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Can I chime in? Yep. Go ahead, Can I chime in? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, we're 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 um, it, it's commonplace to have negotiators, uh, those negotiating a contract, to work together in executive session. Uh, we've done that in our union negotiation. You, you might remember Calus Select board members. Um, but then we would also have executive sessions without the other party present. So I would strongly encourage us to first, since Ty is there, we invite Ty into executive session with us. We have our frank open discussion, which is the real purpose of our executive session meeting. And then we ask Ty to leave, having heard him. And then we have a conversation between the two select boards and see where that leads. So that's my suggestion. So, so um, John, one, one point of correction when we were meeting with the union we actually weren't in a meeting or an executive session we were in neither neither of those things just to be i think i feel it's really clear to say that out loud we weren't having a select board meeting we didn't go into executive session we just had a meeting which under which un, according to our town lawyer was completely permissible it didn't have to be warned as a meeting didn't have to be we didn't, we didn't have to go. Have to have an agenda. We didn't have an agenda. We didn't go into an executive session, Did, which, which probably John doesn't ultimately change the point that you're making. But I feel like we want to be really clear about that, right? In case anybody watches the movie and says, "Wait a minute." Well, why don't we just have Ty speak to us before we go into executive session? Yeah, I think and then we get some groundwork for us to have our meeting in executive session afterwards. How okay. much time did you allot on the agenda? Okay. Oh, um, we allotted. <laughs> 10 minutes. No, just 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Remember, we didn't okay. know what the item was going to be matter. at that time. It doesn't matter. You're here. We're here. Five here. We're okay. going to hash this out. All right. We're That's not good. under a time constraint at this point. Everyone loves this stuff. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So, let's not go in an executive session, see what Ty has to say, then go in an executive session after Ty leaves. Okay. So, That's right. what we're going to have to do. Next slide. Right? I see it. Let's hear what you yes. I, mean, I, I think from my side, hearing part of the conversation and answering the questions would be much easier. We heard zero response from Callis, either for or against the meeting or not meeting at all. And we went through seven months of this with no communication prior to this. Um, so I think it would be easier for me to answer questions you guys have about what you're seeing or what you dislike or about what we put forth. Um, well, let's do that. We can look at what we have. So, why don't you explain to us your counter proposal? Well, I think our counter proposal was geared towards trying to answer the concerns you guys had brought forth, the largest one being the transparency. Um, you know, we felt that we could acknowledge that part on the floor at the town meetings, you know, and answer that there. We also felt that. It was important to hear the purpose of um, calling the, the contract out 
you know, and what the issue was. Um, again, not trying to overstep into any boundaries of the select board's authorities or to just do it without reason. Um, but I feel that in the process of looking at the process that occurred, I think we went a long time with no answer and no information as to what was going on and to why. I feel it would be beneficial if we're all partners in this together that we would be able to openly communicate that. Um, part of what we put on the floor, again, not fully understanding the, the three-year proposal part of it, if that was a three-year with no discussion or if that was a three-year still with the same kind of discussions that we were doing on the annual renewal, we felt that annually doing it the way we were with a review in December when we meet annually already is if there's an issue, let's talk about it. Um, you know, let's try to resolve it without going through this process. The other one was a timeline. There was a timeline proposal you guys had put forth. I think we've seen systematically through this year, the timeline proposal didn't even come close to being able to work for the shortened version on the proposal versus leaving it the longer window of time to try to accomplish this. Denise, you were on, Seth, were you on when we wrote this originally? Yeah. I and mean, this was probably a year and a half of oh, yeah. negotiations and things. Yeah, yeah. John was on. And John, right? And Bruce, and things. Yeah. I think it would be much better to have a more streamlined version with more open conversations. I think that's what our goal was overall, was to stimulate more conversation in a shorter window of time and try to come to resolution versus this process just go on and on and on. And, you know, you guys have discussions, we're not included, then it comes to us, we respond, you guys have discussions, we're not included, it goes on, because we're just, you know, that, that didn't seem really productive for me. Um, I got a lot of other things to do, a lot of other meetings and everything as you guys do, and we'd like to be able to just resolve it and come to solution as quickly as possible. Well, and we, Cal has put forth um, our document. East Montpelier made some changes to it and you made changes to that. So I think everybody has been kept in, in the loop. We received your email with your amended document on September 18th um, and we haven't had a chance to do much with it since then. We have reviewed it and so now we feel like it's time to review it with the East Montpelier Select Board. As you, you had a fire department board meeting, we weren't invited to that meeting to talk about the document, which you obviously did at your board meeting. Correct? Right. I'm not saying I'm not saying you shouldn't have board meeting discussions independently and things, but we openly put out a request to meet with you folks. We gave several options of dates. East Montpelier responded back that they could not make that date and things and would be looking at it tonight. And then going forwards, um, you know, and I, I got zero response from Calix. We received uh, the doc we received the document. We had a meeting on September 27th. We heard back from East Montpelier, and this is the first chance the Calix Select Board has had a chance to come together with East Montpelier. Well, why don't we just look at the document? Because that's what we're talking about. Let's not talk about it. Later. I think the problem is that if this is not a contract between three parties who are all the same, it's not like three cities. This is a contract by which two cities are negotiating with a fire district for services. So it's fine, just like the fire district can talk to its board, it's fine for us to talk to you and talk about what we as the contracting party, you know, the ones who are asking them to provide services, what our concerns are. I think it's fine for us to do that in mm -hmm. session. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, but right now what we're trying to do is tease out a tie, the changes that were made in the document and move forward with that discussion. Right, so we have- that's what we're meeting here. We right, that's, but, that's what, changes. but that's what we have. We have the document for the fire department yeah. to look at in executive session, and the two boards discuss their changes. So we can move it along. Well, and and it's my understanding, Ty, and I I think I don't understand fully. Um, I want to just um, Mark said 
the fire district, but it's my understanding that East Montpelier is not East Montpelier Fire Department is not a fire district. Correct. Correct. It's not. Yeah. It has no municipal municipal charter. charter. It's, a non it's a nonprofit yeah. organization. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think Mark has just got the words. Yeah. No, no, no. I know, but again, I want to. But I know. I want to make sure that we are. Because because that could be an important difference, so we want to make sure we're attaching ourselves conceptually to the right thing. Yeah, I mean, just call it wrong. Right. No, I know, I know, but but there is a thing that is a fire district yes, that has yeah. a municipal. But that's this not is not it. it. This is not it. Yeah, we're all agreeing on that. Yep. Um, so I think that the boards need to go into executive session and discuss the changes. Yeah, if I may comment, um, this is Judith Dillon. I'm, um, I, I guess I'm still not understanding why we need to talk just between the uh, select boards. I thought the purpose of tonight's meeting was to get the input of the um, fire department in part because it felt it had been left out of this process. And this was an opportunity to get all three parties in the same room to talk about what the concerns were and to see if we can resolve um, the issue. I, I, I don't know what utility will come from just having the um, uh, municipality select boards in a room talking about it saying, golly, well, why do they want this? Why do they want that? They're, Ty is here now. Why don't we have that conversation right now? And we can, you know, all three parties to this contract are in the room. There's no need to go into executive session. So why don't we have the conversation? Well, we may need eventually to go into executive session, but I agree with you, Judith, that we can make good use of Ty while he's here. Ty has been asked uh, to explain the proposal from the fire department, and we heard about the process. Uh, I, I'd like to you know, ask the question again of Ty. Uh, tell, tell us about your proposal. What, why did you propose making the changes that you proposed, please? I think it would be easier, Carl, a little bit for you guys to ask your questions that I can answer them directly in the explanation to it. And I think that's kind of the whole concern when you guys go into an executive session, you guys are talking about it without the understanding of maybe where it came from. But for us to understand fully what your question is to know the answer accordingly, um, seems like just the open communication is a much better way to go. Well, and I don't disagree about open communication, but as I stated, the fire department had a meeting where you talked about the contract in your board meeting that we were not invited to. So to me, this is our opportunity to do what you have already done. I think well, I don't want to I don't want to delay the semantics of the process of that because yeah. everybody's had meetings individually on their own. We've come to the table. I think the result of this will be the same result as we had the last time. If you guys come out with an output of change and you hand it off to us, we're going to come back again and end up having to try to do this again down the road. We're just kicking the football farther away. Okay, so Rick wants to speak. Hi, Denise. I'd like to speak. Sorry, yeah, just John. a second, John. Rick, get his hand up first. Yeah, I, I agree with Ty and Judith on this. I just didn't have this conversation with, with I mean, with Ty in the room. This, there's, I know, this, you know, I don't, I think we can get, get a lot farther if we got it. I know you're talking about going through the changes. I mean, going through, I, in this discussion, yeah, I don't think we should block them out. We, no, I don't either. I said, if we don't need to go to the executive session at some point, we can do that. Maybe. Okay, so let's let John speak. John? Yeah, and, and I generally concur with the theme that's being presented by Rick and Judith. Uh, I'll say generally, I, I think it would be great if Ty would walk through, number one, not only his proposed language that we've now seen from mid-September, mid but also what his concerns were with the uh, language that was that we pretty much came together with uh, East Montpelier and Callis pretty much came together on um, that provided the leeway uh, to both select boards should they decide to have a separately warned article in their town report for the um, East Montpelier Fire Department budget. And before I get off my pedestal, I'm gonna remind Ty uh, what, what has just been said five minutes ago that we are both uh, municipal entities, Callis and East Montpelier uh, the fire department is a private nonprofit organization 
we have an obligation to run our town meetings as we see appropriate in our towns. And I really frankly feel it's an overreach and we could voluntarily agree to that if we thought it made good sense for our, our communities. Uh, but for the, the a nonprofit that we're contracting for services to, to direct us through contract or otherwise, how to orchestrate our town meeting agenda and whether or not to warn a substantive budgetary item as a separate item. And I've said this before, we warn the Kellogg Hubbard, Hubbard Library item. It's a large bite in our budget. It's, it's at times very controversial. Sometimes we expect it to be a blow up and it blows right through. But I, uh, we do this with Woodbury. Uh, we used to do it with East Montpelier Fire Department, East Montpelier Callis Fire Department. Um, and I, I don't see why we shouldn't continue along that, those lines. I see that East Montpelier Callis Fire Department uh, has proposed going back to the same language that really was an in initial grievance by at least the Callis Select Board in this regard. Um, and I, I don't see my, my mind changing. Now, may, maybe tonight you can change my, our minds, Ty, but I'd like to hear from Ty. Let's walk through the letter. What's in the areas of contra in controversy? Most of it, I think, we're still in agreement on, and and then we can go into executive session as Carl suggests um, after afterward to see where we're all at. That's what I was just going to say, John. I could see agreeing to going through the language as proposed by the fire department, and then the two boards going in to do adjustment session after. Does the rest of the board agree with that? That's fine. Yes. 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 Can yeah, I? Yep. Yeah. So, I Sorry, I'm just going to ask, can I throw the agreement up? Do you want to have it on the screen? Sure. Yeah, we, what I'd like to do is see it from there. I, I, want to, I want to just underscore the point John made that where, where, what the Cal Select Board, what the Cal Select Board was looking for, I would not have characterized as transparency because, because I, I would never say that the budget of the East Montpelier Fire Department wasn't known to the town. It was, it's, it's there as a, as a line item. I guess it wasn't broken out, but the issue from our perspective that I think we were really clear on is the fundamental issue was that we were contractually bound to not present it as a separate item, which became, which became a very important thing for us to be able to do. And I still, I, as John just said, I and I agree. I still feel like that's critically important to us. This is what I agree. I mean, the share, and that's the fundamental point. It's not predicated. You know, that's the way we do business in Dallas, and that is our right as a town. And we need to take that. We don't want to contract it away. Right. Yeah, we can't. We're not signing off on that oversight. You know, for our, you know, I mean, we work for the for for taxpayers. For taxpayers, but that doesn't mean we are their complete proxy. You know, and this is, I think, if you are being the private this is an important point to maintain their trust and support. I mean, this has a positive effect on that. And what, and I, you know, personally, I've heard from town voters that want to see this on the on the morning. And I think you know we we have our meetings about the budget, so it's transparent. Nobody suggested that it wasn't transparent. Okay. So let's so why don't we move on? We don't need to look at the mem memo. I don't think first. I think just to is there any way you can make it bigger? <laughs> Do you want to look at the memo after all? Yeah. Well, just the whole document. No, we're gonna go through it. Right. We have a photo of your handy brings so I can just yeah, push yeah. a button. There. I have the memo, I can copy it for people. Um, no. You Bruce, yeah. Bruce, did you you had circulated something like a slight tweak to this that was something that you just sent to um some of us as a possible compromise that thing that came from callus okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. okay and that has changed again since this yeah. afternoon yeah yeah so never mind that for now. never mind that take that right off the table yeah for now okay, okay. so what we're looking now is the version that the tie sent Okay. On, on September 18th. That's what we got okay. So somebody, oh, that's the one that got, that got sent around about the one year, three year thing. This is no, that? this is this is the one from Ty. And I don't the only two things that Callis had on their plate was item number one, 
and six. So item initially, one, initially right. Yeah. So item one, um, and unfortunately Ty didn't leave in what right. we had to put. Hang because on, we, hang because on. Because we suggested a three, three year rather than a five year. If you look at what was initially sent around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the one that the two, I think this is the one that the two boards Okay, so the, but anyways, the one, three, or five, that was the deal? That was the, that was the bigger issue in this. And then the fire department, I don't want to just say Ty, because I'm assuming it was the whole board, um, came back with this different language, which changed it back to five, five months. Oh, that's, that's five months notice, right. instead of three. Right. And then they have added an annual review of the contract shall be included in the annual December budget meeting, which is, I'm assuming they're Where's talking about the meeting between. So we just put the center. That's what this is. This is the three competing languages right there. Oh, you broke it into this. For paragraph one. Right. So what the fire department came back with, and I'm assuming when they're talking about the December meeting, they're talking about the meeting that the fire department and the town staff yeah. together. Uh -huh. Assume that's what it what he means, but it doesn't always say that. Um, it shall be required to hold a joint meeting of the three parties within 30 days of the non-renewal notice. The notice of says renewal. I think it mean, I think it's meant to say non-renewal here. Shall include an explanation of the issues of the issues the party wishes to address, and that joint meeting, a schedule of joint meetings, shall be set with a minimum of one joint meeting of the three parties per month until the renewal date. So that's the language the fire department came back with in response to what we provided. Um, I think Callis signed it in August and you signed it in July. And our language is, um, which one can you, which one is it? The initial term shall be one year commencing the existing agreement. Bruce. It's right there in the middle. Yeah, the oh, initial the term okay. of the contract will be one year. So so that it shall be it shall be required. Can I just ask Ty a couple questions? Mm -hmm. An annual review of the contract shall be included in the annual December budget meeting. That seems reasonable, like something we probably have been doing. Yeah, it is. If a notice of non-renewal is given by one party, it, so there's a pronoun, it shall be required to hold a joint meeting of the three parties within 30 days of the non-renewal notice. Can you... Ty, just explain to us what it means and how you envision that playing out with a timeline of 30 days. I think the goal through that portion is to facilitate this happening in a timely manner. And um, so who is, 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 does it mean? With all three of us together at the table. And, and it, so initially, if we look back at how this process occurred, Mm -hmm. Right, it was kind of thrown to the air in December, but nothing officially done. I don't have all the dates of management, all that stuff in the but it wasn't until it was in March, maybe. And then it was an April meeting. We asked about what the details were at our joint meeting, and we were told there was no details at that point, it would be coming out. And then it didn't come out with actually what the specifics were until end of May, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, and then we didn't actually officially meet on anything or have any communications back and forth directly until the August meeting where we met in August. And I think that was our concern is that to be able to somehow come to a term and agreement that says we can do this faster, we can do this more efficiently, we can do this better. And how do we do that? What is it? Well, we, do well, one thing we need to do in this is, is I mean, this is what we kind of need. We need to have them get a bunch of proposals when we're in December, whenever that time is, so we can actually get building our budget process. 
we have a town vote, a town meeting, and then we've got authorization to use that money. They put the, from that point, we can either we notice, we either move forward, or we have a non-agreement at that point where we, we do, you know, we begin that negotiation with you if we have to, if we were to have to do that. That's, those are the, those are the fixed points for us. It's town meeting, because that's when we are authorized by the taxpayers to do this. But, but you follow, that's when I, yeah, I agree with all of that, but if we go back to the specific language that, that Ty or the, the EM, the East Montpelier Fire District Fire Department proposed, um, would it equally meet your goals if it said, if a notice of non-renewal is given by one party, the parties shall endeavor. That's a word that has been put out there before. The parties shall endeavor to hold a joint meeting of the three parties within 30 days of the non-renewal. That sounds like what you described to me. Do you agree with that? I, I think the, the some of the discussion that occurred at our board was the word endeavor and what's the commitment to fulfill that endeavor with. Well, There's, and that's what was the question because again, how do we resolve something like this? You know, when we look at this, we look at this as it went 11 years with no issues, <coughs> you know, and then we do a relaunch and we're, we're, uh, so, working our way back to this backwards in some ways it seems like well, well there haven't no, been issues for you up to this point but there can be for us we know that when our town responds to different circumstances this can back you know this can not work out and, it, and it's got there's a sniff factor to this kind of thing you do not this is a big budget item it's it like is. how long covered and if you take that right away from the taxpayer and they can rightly get upset by that and it can sway decisions the, the, the fire department has great support Callous. I mean, these do very, very strong votes, and that will continue. But we have a due, you know, there's a due diligence that we have to the taxpayers. We would, they are engaged in this process. They're not pushed out of it. They're not by politicians. They're a part of it, and they, we feel really strongly about that. That they need. That's the way we keep them engaged. So, Sharon, your yeah. is your problem is your concern the word required. The it and it sh it shall be required. Uh, um, I jump in here. Um, I, Carl, Carl, yeah. let me finish. Okay. So, so I think we should just put a pin in this because, because none of the three of us can compel the others to show up at a meeting within 30 days. So there's, I understand the intent is if somebody posts a notice of non-renewal, there needs to be some energy around having a meeting but even if even if Talis is the party that that alerts you know or or provides notice of non-renewal we cannot compel the other two parties to show up at a meeting within 30 days so somewhere in there the it especially if it is the non-renewing party which i i'm imagining it might be in some people's mind so the, the non-renewing party cannot be required to hold the joint meeting within 30 days because we cannot compel other people to show up. So I'm not I'm not saying that we should beat that to death. I'm just flagging that as a as an issue which could become moot as we move through the rest of the discussion. But the way that it's structured right now, it doesn't work on its face. So wouldn't we be able to have an agreement between the three parties of how we accomplish a meeting process going forward that would be Absolutely. Agreeable but, that would be follow through on versus endeavor to versus try to versus we sure, may never do. All, sure, but that's all. But 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 it shall be required. And if we replace it with what I I'm going to imagine is your intent, if a notice of non renewal is given by one party, the non renewing party shall be required. That doesn't work. I'm flagging that issue. And all I'm saying is flag it. We should yeah. move on in our discussion and right. recognize that doesn't work. Okay, I want to um, just interrupt you for a minute. Carl, I have something to say. Yep, I'm, uh, I'm done. I, I was just going to, uh, I think you've said well, Sharon, what I was going to say. That, uh, if someone's going to quit an agreement, you can't force them to do anything. So let's move on. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So then it goes on to say the notice of renewal, and I think you meant to say non renewal. Is that correct, Ty? Ty? Yes. 
on the uh, in your sentence there, the notice of renewal, I think you meant to say non renewal, shall include an explanation of the issues the party wishes to address. I don't think non renewal should be. Right? It sounds like it should be non renewal, not renewal, because yeah. there's, well, we, there wouldn't be any issues to address if there was renewal, right? <laughs> so it's a typo. Okay. I just want to be clear. At that joint meeting, and I'm assuming that joint meeting is the one you're referring to in the sentences above. You want to schedule a joint meeting shall be set with a minimum of one joint meeting of the three parties per month until the renewal date. Which yep. that I don't that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me when you say yes. until the renewal date. And going back to the issue, we you can't compel. We can't compel the fire department. We can't compel these Mount Hillier Select Board to do anything that they're not willing to do. So going going back again Ooh. to the word um, resolution or something like that. Um, what does it say? Sorry. Shall set with, with a minimum of one joint meeting of the three parties per month. I don't think you can compel that. So I don't think our goal is to try to compel or try to do the force the select force to do anything out of the ordinary. Our goal is to try to have a process that's going to be in place that when we agree that we do this action, we all follow that action going forward. That we can say on the front side, this is our commitment. If we pull this plug on this and we want to change, that we're willing to meet once a month to resolve this. If we're willing to meet twice or every two months. But I think that having a, a plan is important so that we can actually successfully accomplish this. Okay. All right, so, um, so we could change I, I, the language. Yeah, well, like, I think I think we can move on to the next. I but, think, but yeah. I think we we but, understood where five Yes, right. The process, and I, and I yeah. actually don't disagree with yeah. having right. something in place so we can move forward. Right. Because even on these right. third cycle, we're like, what, what's going on? You know. Yeah, no, it's I mean, like, we're like, we're going. Right, right. I agree with that. Right. Yeah, we just yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. A better, no, but we, better, could, we could put something in there. Yeah, right. Right. Address the issue. Right. 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 So, so maybe not right. in the terms of compelling and requiring. Right. If I could just make one more yeah. step backwards a little bit. Yep. Is we're in no way trying to keep this from discussion on the floor or in any way from the taxpayers. We're all taxpayers in these towns as well. Mm -hmm. Um, we have no fear of the support from the townspeople for what we do. Um, I didn't realize because I don't read the Callis Town Report. I didn't realize you guys don't publish the same reports that get published in East Wall Parish. So our full budget sheets that we report to you guys in December are all fully published page by page in the town report in East Wall Parish. They're fully broken out. And you guys aren't doing that in Callis. But that's that, that was that was part of our suggestion is also that that gets opened up that everything is there and then we're willing to have that conversation on the open floor which then allows you the same platform to open mm -hmm. the discussion that's necessary. Which I think will be really important when we're warning it as a separate item. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what's the next chunk of language? That's it. Well, this is the number six. Oh, um, oh number six. AMFD shall report to a voters at the annual town meeting during the article specifying to ask questions about town. So you're, instead of what you're doing is when we open up town meeting, we give people the opportunity to ask questions of any of the town boards, commissions, committees, whatever. You're suggesting that that's when you would do it, not when it would come up as a Separately warned, warned item. separately warned item to have a discussion about the budget. It, well, if it was because our proposal is for it to stay within the select board's budget, because again, that's part of the commitment you guys accept in December that says, okay, we approve this to go forward. Because again, those are those are the discussion points right there when we meet in December to talk about the budget. No, but that's not that, that was that was you know? exactly that was that was the mm -hmm. whole point of our non renewal. We understand that. So we we responded that we don't fully agree with that fully. We feel that there's some concerns for Calus directly with the impacts of what this will do when you open up two fire departments on the floor that haven't been on the floor and okay. parallel to each other. It may seem parallel. We're very parallel. Yeah. It may seem I understand that, but it may seem parallel, but it may also become oppositional on the floor. Why? 
because you're going to have discussions that openly now that aren't parallel. You don't have two agencies that are talking about the same thing and trying to draw up the same money. So if they ask for a truck, East Montpelier is not asking for a truck with it. Whereas now we may go forward and ask for a truck and truck again. But that's all truck. transparency. Right. That's and, that may not fully work out the anticipated way that you think it will. It could also have a negative impact of people feeling, oh, well, why do we need Woodbury to stay on board? Or why do we need this or that? And, and they're, they're important to what you guys have for service out in that region on the far edges of couch. And, this, and come, this come up all the time, but we only just, we have those questions on the floor. It's, 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 it's ironic to me that, that, it, it's ironic that you that we would be worried about separating it out and having it go differently because if if we if there's that much of a concern that the discussion will go down differently when it's a separate item that to me that actually argues that it should be a separate item if there's that much concern that people have okay. that much to say or that much of a vis visceral you know whatever about this budget item that has to be tucked in behind the town budget that argues that actually argues to me that it should that it should be outside right so that we're not so it doesn't, not so, so it doesn't i know it's not that, what you're saying so it doesn't appear that we're keeping anything from the vote no. this is their money this is their tax dollars this could we have a we have an obligation to them to present a, the budget and be open and honest about what is in the budget. The way it is now, people probably look at the, the budget, but they don't really realize that they could call that out and could have called it out anytime already. So we want to make, we want to be, do our due diligence and be forthright about what your money taxpayer is going towards. And we, and it sounds to us like you don't want us to do that because then it might not work out. Denise, yes. can I chime in? Uh, yes. I would like yes. to contribute. Um, you know, uh, a lot of this contract language, it has embedded in it a theme um, that requires both East Montpelier Township and Callis Township to unequivocally back the budget and un unequivocally back the, the fire department. And I have no problem with that. But the benefit to select boards um, volunteer select boards, and yes, we have to live in these towns that we set budgets for too, that we tax people based upon. Um, having the fire departments there front and center, both of them, uh, when that article comes up, explaining why their town officials back such a contract in much greater detail than quite frankly, we're capable of, and answering those questions in great detail Kind of like our state rep comes to our town meeting and answers sometimes very difficult questions, gets yelled at um, at times for positions she has taken. Um, but that's important to the community understanding how we got to where we are. And, you know, frankly, we I want to see the East Montpelier Fire Department support us, the town of Callis, and frankly, our partners, East Montpelier Select Board. Uh, they We we do endeavor to support your operation. Obviously, we, we'd be up Schitt's Creek without it. That's spelled S-C-H-I-T-T-S, Creek. Without it, you guys. Um, and, but it, it, it's, it's a collaborative effort and I, I wanna see more, frankly, more presence. I wanna see, frankly, if I could make a demand, East Montpelier Fire Department come to our select, our, town meeting and put the same level of effort in explaining why we have this these numbers in our budget and these warned items um, and explain the value to the community of, of their spending their hard-earned tax dollars on these, these items. Um, Woodbury does that consistently. They've never been fearful. They're always proud and they, they wave their flag and time and again, they get standing ovations. I want to see East Montpelier Fire Department get the same because at the end of the day, that's a standing ovation for our collective effort and the folks on our select board. So um, that's, I'm going to get off my podium, but that's a big deal for me. Yeah, I, I would agree. I mean, I think 
it would serve the fire department well to come to the meeting, see some, meet some of the people, bring a fire truck so the kids can, can see it become, you know, become a little bit more a part of what we're doing on your behalf. We just give them a chance to clone some of this too. That's why when they vote, they on an article, they, they're saying, they're saying no, and they generally say yes on these, you know, why don't they always on the, this is a great service, you know, but that solidifies the form. That's an aerobic. So, so what language did um, the fire department change in paragraph six after we signed off on that? They changed. So I'm not clear what that change, what changed. Um, so we, do you we have an agreement right there? Right there. Is that paragraph six? Yes. You six. muddled the label. So that's a new paragraph six. So that's the one we signed off on, right, Bruce? The top one is the one we signed off on. The one you can't see anymore is the original, and the bottom one is is the final. But it's both. Okay. But it's both right. one and six that have been tinkered with. Right. 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 Yeah. One's on the page above. We just looked at one. But now we're already looking at one, so now we're looking at six. So. Right. Right. So six is the new version. Six is what two select yeah. boards agreed to. No, no. The one we're looking at right now is the one that um, fire department. The proposed new agreement EMFD, but the one above it is the one that the two That's what we signed off on. Signed yeah. off on. Yeah. And so we, um, were, so, we were in, so we were in agreement with the two select boards on that line. On the top. Right. But the bottom one is the bigger one. Right. Well, it's a lot of new language. It's, it's, and it's the one that says such amount shall be categorized and identified as related to general governmental expenditures, not as a supplemental municipal budget item. Right? That's so if you're talking about the one where Bruce has circled it. Yeah. I Bruce did not circle it. I don't know who circled it. I didn't do it. That's some technique I haven't a clue how to do. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just circled it. So anyway, maybe it was so Kate. Do you, do you like Here's Carl. <laughs> so the one that says proposed new agreement. The top and one. The middle, yeah, the middle one, or the top one. Yes. Yeah. So that's the one that we signed yes. off on. So. Yes. In my yeah. in my view, because it's quarter of nine, and you guys still have other stuff to do, I'm sure, is that we've heard from Ty. Yeah. The two select boards should now go into executive session. It was, Ty, is there anything else in terms of your this issue? This, this issue, I understand fully. You told us you're uncomfortable with it. It's a separate item. You're worried it won't pass. Is there anything I, else you I want? I don't think I said that at all. We are. That's not. Item, right? um, not totally. No, I don't hear what the taxpayers will spend. Yeah, I, I think that there will be possible ramifications that haven't been considered. Um, Such as we we already in this bottom square paragraph here address everything that John just brought up about coming and doing town presentations. We've said that we would do that more diligently. Yes, maybe we haven't had the time for the last few years. It's been challenging for what we're doing, and we're extremely busy. Right. And Is so we haven't, other... we haven't been able to make the time. We we acknowledge that part, right? right. So we say we will. Okay, but in terms of it not being warned as a separate item, is there any other thing you want to say about that before well, we go into executive session? I think we have some concerns in that what happens, and again, these are hypothetical things, and I don't like to live in the world of hypotheticals. Yeah. But what is the consideration if? All of a sudden, it does change the dynamic on the floor in Calps, right? And just to say, if it was voted down, right. or out of on the floor, all of a sudden it says, "Well, we want to take fifty thousand from the fire department budget." And what does that do in relationship to East Wall Okay. Because there's agreements that are in place to how the cost sharing is, and how does that get worked out? And none of that has been in discussion mm -hmm. that I'm aware of, and has a worked out solution to how that comes to play. In March. Well, I guess okay, that's well, thank you. I, 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 I feel like we've heard from you. Now. Right. Um, we should, yeah. And I think that's something that now we know. Details would have to work out. Right. But we, I think, but not what I guess I'm saying is everybody says we really wanted to hear from Ty and right. hear him out on and these issues. <clears throat> that's why I asked him, is there anything else? And I think we've heard him out. So yeah. now we can go into executive session. Right. And we didn't vote. We had the motion, but I don't believe we voted to go into executive session. Yeah, you did, I think. Did we? we did. I can't remember. We didn't. Callis did. did. Callis did? Okay. Yeah, Callis did, but we didn't. Okay, so now it's your turn. 
Do we want to go into executive session to discuss this thing? I guess so. Sure. That's what we agreed to. All right. Okay. And we yeah. start. Does Parker go away as well? Yeah. Are we, we, have, we already voted on the motion. Uh, the first part of the motion. We didn't in, in KD. The right. I, I was on the verge of making the motion, the second part of the motion, to actually go into executive session. I'll do that now. Right. We, um, we, we voted to ask Katie to stay in and take notes on our discussion, not minutes. Notes. And we're going to, uh, okay, in the vote, though, we're going to include Bruce. In the you guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. Don't have to. No, we are. <laughs> <laughs> nice so, so in the motion, we're including Bruce. I agree. <laughs> Executive session. Not thank you, time. 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 Thank they can be in ours. We're not the recording. Yeah. Yeah, and we need to invite.